Hi, I just thought I'd uh, show you something with my uh, Keysight 1000X scope here. Check this out. User calibration failed because I um, had an issue with the DC offset on this thing and like the firmware was way behind and I thought, oh, okay, I'll like uh, do the user calibration, which takes about seven minutes. It's very comprehensive. It generates like its own internal test signals and it uh, like, you know, calibrates like the uh, channel offset, the channel gain and all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful stuff. So, you know, it really is fantastic, but um, I ran the user calibration, you're supposed to disconnect all the inputs, which is what I did. I ran the user calibration and uh, it failed. So I don't know what's going on. Let's see if the issue was here. I just wanted to show you that error message. What I was seeing is that when I changed the time base here, let, let, let's go down. The, look, look, the offset, look at that. It's jumped like 600 millivolts like that and then it jumps back. So on those two ranges, on the 200 millivolt and 500 millivolt ranges, there's a huge DC offset, it still works. But there's this, the channel still works, but there's this massive DC offset. All the other ranges are fine. So is this scope like failed on its 200 millivolt and 500 millivolt ranges? I don't know. Let's turn on channel two here, and let's see if this does the same thing. Okay, oh, yep. 50 volt range has an offset. Look at that compared to the ground. Let's see if it's up. Oh, 500, 200, 100 millivolts. Exactly the same on both channel one and channel two. So what the hell is going on there? I've got another um, older 1000X uh, prototype scope. I'm going to update the firmware on that. Well, no, I'll just go get that and show you. All right, so this is my uh, prototype unit. PP stands for production prototype, I believe. It was the 70th uh, unit. So this is one I've done like hacking around on and uh, stuff. So yeah, it's got un unreleased uh, firmware. There was an error message, like a warning message when I booted up, this is unreleased firmware. So I haven't updated this firmware. Let me try this. No, nah. see that one's a winner winner chicken dinner. But the other one, has a real issue. So I'm not sure if there's a hardware fail. I'll try the user calibration again. Whoa, I just repowered it up. System concerns detected. Instrument is uncalibrated. Yeah, because it failed the calibration. Um, <laughs> like the user cal. Okay, um, wonderful. Anyway, let's feed in a, uh, so let's feed that right in the middle. Whoa, look at that. Five volts and 10 volts per division. Wow, look at that. That's seriously, that is, that's failed big time. Um, yeah, <laughs> two volts, yeah. And here we go, you can see that DC offset shift like that. The waveforms, like, you know, it works, but completely shifted so yeah this is one sick puppy I don't know what's wrong with it all right so let's just run that calibration again you've actually got to go into options here uh, auxiliary and cal protect so you've got to disable the calibration protection and then you've got to go into service here and then start user calibration and boom there it goes take approximately seven minutes you can see it uh, like generating all sorts of uh, stuff like this I'm not sure if that is a normal signal that it's supposed to generate, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'd have to care, uh, compare it with my other uh, 1000X to see what what's what. But anyway, I'll let you know, but I don't expect it to just magically pass again. There's something wrong with this. And surprise, surprise, it failed again. And the interesting thing, of course, is that uh, it happens on both channels. There it is. Sure, we're not uh, triggering off uh, channel two there. Source two. There we go. But, like, they're both got, both channels have that DC offset on the 500 millivolt and the 200 millivolt ranges. Like, that's just nuts. I, <laughs> why? 
both channels. So it's not like a physical hardware fail on a channel. They're two independent channels. So I just, I'm not getting it. Um, <laughs> leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've seen this issue, if you've heard about it, um, let me know, because yeah, this one's a loser, which is a shame, because this is one of my favorite scopes in the lab. I love my little 1000X, you know, it's so nice to, you know, it's small, compact, it's ridiculously easy to use. It's one of the, uh, you know, it's probably the friendliest scope to use that I've got in the lab. If I just want to make some simple measurements, I usually reach for my uh, Keysight scope. It just works, except in this case, I guess it doesn't. Um, yeah, so Houston, we have a problem. Hmm. And also, I love the uh, the glare. You know, there's not much glare on this uh, screen compared to some of my other scopes. So for video uh, work, it's actually uh, quite nice. But anyway, let me know what you think. Catch you next time.